All right, so I'm here in the studio today with the Westcott FJ200. We're gonna do a photo shoot and I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at the entire shoot. All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Miguel Quiles and I'm here in the studio today with Miss Jordan. And I'm gonna take some headshots and some portraits of her here. Uh, but before we do that, let's kind of walk through the setup here so that you know exactly how we're doing this. First off, of course, you see the background. This is a hand-painted, hand-painted, hand-painted background uh, made by Gravity Backdrops. Um, all of these always look different. So if you ever go to their website, you might see one that looks similar, but beautiful. Uh, it gives this really classy look, which Jordan's already super classy, but we're gonna make her look even more classy with the right type of background. So uh, part of the reason that I chose this blue is to kind of offset or to complement uh, the color of her dress. I wanted to go with something that gives a little bit of contrast. It's one of the key things when you're picking a background, make sure that you're getting one that gives you a good contrast with your model. So gravity backdrop, then walking over this way, I've got the Westcott FJ200 strobe. Part of the reason why I'm using this is that I recently had a question on Instagram. They wanna get into off-camera flash, but they were curious to find out, should they go with an FJ400? Should they go with an FJ200 or an FJ80? I tend to wanna to stay middle of the road, go with an FJ200 because it gives you a good amount of power. You could use it in the studio, you could use it outdoors, and it's affordable, which is the key thing. So all the products that I'm talking about will be listed in the description of the video, so make sure you check that out. But FJ200, that's gonna be our light. I've got it going through the Westcott uh, Manny Ortiz Beauty Dish Switch. I've got this beauty dish. It's got the, um, actually before I say that, so you got one layer of diffusion. This is with the white interior. Uh, so this is gonna give a relatively nice soft uh, spread of light. And that's what I'm using for the light. This is gonna be a single light for the entire shoot. We have this sitting on a Kupo light stand. A lot of people have been asking me about the light stand that I use in my videos. I actually have a video, which I'll probably link in the description. Uh, I'll link it in the description for you so you can check it out. But this stand is amazing because all of this stuff can be moved and wheeled. I can dance, you know, spin around, whatever it is I wanna do. I can do that with this stand. Really nice, heavy duty. Um, I've got it on a boom arm. The boom arm here is key. So the first setup that I did uh, when I started shooting, I actually didn't have the light where it's currently placed. I had it kind of off to the side a little bit. Um, but what's really nice about this is that with this boom arm, I could actually stand underneath the softbox and not have the stand kind of in my way. So this is something that you're definitely gonna want to invest in if you're doing studio photography or anything like that. Key piece of uh, kit that you wanna get. And then my buddy Beyonce, as I like to call her, um, which is also on a rolling Kupo stand. And I would demonstrate this for you, uh, but I don't think it's gonna work because I don't have hair. Uh, <laughs> but if I did, this is just a fan and it's gonna blow the hair, it's gonna make it look epic. I think that oftentimes where studio photographers have a little bit of trouble with their portraits is that they look a little boring because there's no motion, there's no movement, unless the model is moving and posing and grooving and doing their thing. Um, Without that, you'd have a static shot. So you bring in Beyonce, or you can call your fan whatever you like. I don't know, leave a comment in the video. Let me know what you call your studio fan. That basically just blows Jordan's hair, makes it look really epic and awesome. So that's our setup. With that being said, let's talk about our camera and our settings. All right, so let's talk about our gear. And uh, just before we get into this really briefly, the only reason that I talk about this is because someone is bound to ask in the comment section. So just keep that in mind. You could use whatever camera, whatever lens it is that you want to use. I'm just letting you know what I use because there will be somebody who will ask. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, I'm using the Sony 24-70 f2.8 G Master version two. Uh, I love using a 28-70 to or 24-70 to lens for this style of shoot, because some of the shots I might actually be shooting from like mid thigh and up, uh, but I also have the ability to crop in a little closer, do headshots. So 24 to 70, fantastic lens. And then I've got the 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master version two. This is probably my favorite portrait lens right now. Now, of course I'm saying this in late October, who knows if you're watching this a year or two from now, maybe it'll be a different lens, who knows, but right now, 70 to 200 is my boo. I love this lens, super sharp. You can get those nice close-up shots. 
capture lots of detail, which we'll show you in the uh, images towards the end of the video. Got the Alpha 7R4, which has been my primary camera from basically day one, battery grip, and I'm triggering this light with the Westcott FJX2M. So that's gonna be the gear that I'm using. My camera settings are going to start off at F8, 1 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. Those settings, if you watch my other tutorial videos, you know that those settings will get rid of the ambient light that is in the studio right now. So that the only light that's actually lighting Jordan is going to be this FJ200 with the beauty dish. So with that being said, now that you know the settings, you know the gear, let's start shooting. All right, y'all, so how awesome is Jordan? Hey, if you agree with that, you need to go over to her Instagram, give her a follow. She's got awesome work on there. We talked about some Westcott lighting today, but I actually have another really cool video showing off some Westcott lights. Got it here on the screen for you. Check it out and I'll see you there.